actually in the screen. Yep, right in the bullseye middle. And it's recording. I don't like it. Why? Because you're not smiling. Well, I'm not ready to shoot yet. <laughs> Hey everyone, FG with a small project here. Um, <clears throat> decided I was going to go ahead and fab up something new uh, for um, the utility rail system in the back of the truck. I'm going to make a hammer mount here. So uh, I took one of my uh, quick fists and uh, to keep the screw from pulling out through the rubber, I took and put it in my small vise and I found a washer which was just a little larger than uh, what the size of the hole is here in the middle. It's cut for uh, something to fit into. And I went ahead and squashed the washer through in a vise. Sorry for having to hold the camera and move the part at the same time. I'm shooting this solo today. And let me bring this over here so you can see it. And there it is. So I pushed that through, got the mounting bolt. And I went ahead and pulled out my stainless hardware pack here. <coughs> Got my aluminum rail, got that drilled up. Here's the uh, stainless 3 8 bolt that I sourced from uh, Lowe's, along with one of the spring nuts right here. And so this is just gonna mount right onto there. Actually, well, actually it's gonna, it's gonna turn sideways, so let me actually show you more correctly what it looks like. More like this. And this is what's going to be hanging from it. So, yeah, pretty simple project. I mean, it took less than 10 minutes to, to gin up the whole thing. And if you have all the parts already laying around in your in your bin and in inventory, it uh, takes very little time at all. But just something kind of cool. Uh, give you an idea of, of what it looked like. And uh, I'll come back in a, a couple of minutes and show it mounted to the truck. All right, everyone. So as promised, here I am. I'm back. And actually, uh, this is kind of a little bit of a piece for uh, both of my um, most recent previous projects. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how both of those has come along. Um, remember I was talking about before uh, the pneumatic snubber tanks for the air suspension. I went ahead and replaced some of the lines here with um, stainless braided and uh, you're, you're probably going to get a great chuckle out of where these came from and uh, what they cost but these are only about seven dollars a piece and most people think that stainless braided lines are very expensive and depending on the application yes they, they sure can be you know uh, especially if they have to resist very high pressures or um, corrosive materials but uh, these are actually uh, water faucet lines from the plumbing department at Lowe's uh, these are 3 8 compression, and I put a 3 8 compression by 1 quarter inch pipe thread adapters and went ahead and put those in and removed some of the red plastic tubing and uh, made the junctions underneath the truck instead because uh, I thought that this looked better and would also probably be a little stronger. And also right here, um, as the video that I was mentioning a few minutes ago, um, creating that holder, here is the hammer in its new location. There's a really nice empty spot right here, which uh, was kind of just begging for some sort of use. It's right here behind the fuel tank, um, auxiliary tank that is. There's no fuel in here. It's not connected to the truck. This is just a five gallon jerry, jerry can, excuse me, hanging right here. But um, quick pan back and I'll show you. And uh, that concludes today's video. Um, like I said, this was a a really easy fabrication, only had to drill two holes, one for the quick fist, one for the bolt, and it mounts up real nice. And this is my uh, three pound hammer, which I purchased from uh, Amazon uh, about six months ago. Actually, it might be close to a year ago by now. Anyway, um, it was only like uh, $13, and it, uh, it seems to be pretty well made. It's got a nice fiberglass handle. Uh, as you can see there, it's stamped real steel, which is kind of funny. I actually like that movie, if you've ever seen it. Anyway, won't belabor the point. That's the project for today. So uh, everybody get out there and have fun. Um, finishing up this video today because uh, um, some of you in, in the northern states are probably already buried in snow. Uh, Maryland is one of those funny places being at the coast that um, 
when I arrived here from Pennsylvania uh, about uh, 10 or 11 years back now, uh, one of the first things people told me was that if you don't like the weather here right now, wait about 15 minutes and you might get something more agreeable. So today it's probably in the mid 50s. It's actually nice um, working outdoors today, not bad. I've just got a long sleeve shirt on, uh, no jacket. Uh, but we have uh, snow in the forecast coming overnight and uh, it possibly may amount to uh, six or seven inches, which for Maryland, that's a, a fair snowfall. Um, I know a lot of y'all in the far northern states would go seven inches, really. That's, that's just a warm up. I don't even pull out my snow shovel for that. And uh, I get that. <laughs> that's, that's probably pretty funny. But of course, then those that are in Florida who might be watching this are probably thinking eh, directly the opposite. So I guess it all depends on where you are. But regardless of where you happen to be right now, go out, get her muddy. There's still a big world waiting. Go have some fun and go enjoy it.